A comprehensive, accessible parts library is at the core of efficient design. When engineers have quick access to the right parts, it means fewer design interruptions, less time spent hunting for components, and more time focused on solving design challenges. Flux offers the largest library of any ICA tool, expanding continuously with contributions from our community. This approach gives engineers access to an ever-growing range of components, all in one place, without needing external libraries. In this video, we're going to cover three key ways to get the most out of Flux Parts Library. Using filters to find parts quickly, using Copilot to compare candidate parts, and running advanced part research with Copilot. Finding the perfect part in the library is quick and efficient with enhanced filters. Whether you're searching by part type, distributor availability, or manufacturer, you can easily find exactly what you need for your design. So let's go over all the available filters. The first one is your start components. This filter allows you to show only the parts that you've started in the past. Remember that you can use the start icon here at the top to create your list of favorites. The next filter is to show only components you've created yourself. Next to it, we have the part type filter. This allows you to show only certain kind of components like capacitors, microcontrollers, etc. Moving on, there's the distributor filter that will only show components that are in stock at specific distributors. There's also a manufacturer filter, so you can search for specific manufacturers. We then have package type filter to filter by the kind of package that the part comes in. Then there's the mount type filter, where you can request SMD, through hole, or other kind of mounting options. Pin count for filtering the number of pins that the part contains. Compliance filters in case you have specific compliance requirements for your design. Component with footprints will only show components that have an associated footprint and filter out POM only components. Components with layout is an interesting filter that would only show modules instead of parts. If you're not familiar with modules, we left a link down in the description where you can learn more about this feature. And finally, you can use this filter to show only parts that have an associated manufacturer part number, leaving out things like generic capacitors or resistors, etc. Now that we know how to find the best possible parts, we might be left with two or three candidates. So let's dig deeper on how we can use Copilot to find the best possible part. So in order to see how Copilot can help us compare different parts, let's run an example. In this case, we're going to use an STM32 microcontroller. To find the best part, we're going to use some filters. In this case, we're going to try and find parts that are in stock on DigiKey, also STM microelectronics parts, and then finally, we're going to select one specific package, a 48 LQFP. As we can see, there's multiple alternatives for this kind of part. In this case, we're interested in these two L0 components. In order for Copilot to be able to compare these parts, we need to click on them and drag into the canvas. To interact with Copilot, we need to simply use the right click and then go to Copilot, ask a question. The most important thing is to select the expert. In this case, as you can see, Copilot can only use the data sheets of those components if it's using the librarian. We're going to leave in the description more information about all the different Copilot experts. In this case, we're going to be asking what the difference is between the clock in IC and in U1. These are the two parts that we added to the canvas. In a few seconds, Copilot can tell us what the difference is with the clock sources of these two different components. In this case, they're essentially the same thing at 32 MHz. So what happens if we want to design, for example, a custom USB keyboard? We can ask Copilot to help us select what the best part is between these two. In a few seconds, we now be able to tell that one of the part contains USB support, but one of the other parts doesn't contain USB support. So it's clear in this case which part we would like to use, and that is IC1. All this information we can extract from Copilot in a few seconds, instead of having to go through hundreds of pages of data sheets. So what happens if we want to find other alternatives from the part that we selected? Maybe there's other parts in the same family that have better options for our project. As we can see, there are some other options between the L4 family or even the L0 series. 
we can take a look at the compiler's answer and find what the best part actually is for the considerations that we have for a specific project. If we have more requirements for our project, we could go ahead and ask more questions to Copilot to narrow down our research to a single part. So now that we found the part that we are looking for, let's see how we can use Copilot to find more details about that part and how we can use it in our design. The very first thing I like to do is ask Copilot to get me a list of the pins and its functions of the main components in the project. This helps me have this information readily available when I'm doing schematic design instead of having to refer to the datasheet every time I need it. Now that we know what those pins are and what they do, we can use Copilot's ability to research datasheets to ask for more details about how to use these pins. For example, the voltage levels that they require. This information is also useful to have at hand in the future. Going back to our keyboard project, we can quickly find out what pins we can use for the interfaces we need. In this case, I2C and USB. In a few seconds, Copilot can tell us what pins we can use and save us the hassle of having to go back and forth from the datasheet to our design tool. This is particularly useful during the rest of the schematic design. When we're adding other parts, we can quickly go back to the message and see what pins we need to connect it to. And that is also left as a reference for whoever reviews our design in the future and can get up to speed quickly. We now know how to use the part library, how to select the best components using AI, and how to do more advanced part research with Copilot. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.